So I'm gonna open the Mosul Manager app. It may be in your Applications folder or you can search for it. I keep mine in my dock. When you open it, uh, sometimes the app can be a little flaky. It may ask for a name and password. If that happens, try quitting it and opening it back up again. Now the Mosul Manager app has two parts. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, it has a self-service section and a class manager section. The class manager section is the section that you would use to actually monitor student devices, to control a classroom, uh, to hide apps on students, etc. The self-service app is what you're going to use in order to install things on your device. So you have a few different sections over here. The first section is called My Tasks. This will show you any apps or updates that the district has pushed out for you um, that they want you to update at your leisure. Uh, they set a certain amount of time to give you to install these updates if possible. If not, they'll just install them on their own. This is typically for things like Firefox or Chrome, uh, individual app updates, not updates to the entire computer. All I would have to do is simply click Run Now. It would send that command to the device. It disappears from my tasks, and it'll update in the background. Now, My Apps is where you're going to find any app that the district has set up uh, for people who might need to install it. Now, uh, this is where you would find things like maybe Apple Classroom on the Mac. Uh, if you needed to use an app like iMovie or GarageBand, uh, or needed to maybe even reinstall an app. This is where you can find those. And again, you would just find the app you need and hit install or reinstall, and it would go ahead and install those apps. Now, similar to my apps is something called my scripts. My scripts are, instead of being specific applications, they are maybe a series of steps that the district has set up for you to be able to uh, install some things on your device. So for example, uh, the system that adds all of our building copiers and printers lives under my scripts because it actually runs a script which tells it to look for printers in your building and install those for it. It's not a dedicated app. And if I wanted to install that, I would simply hit execute now. It tells me a command has been set to the device. If it doesn't work, I may need to try it twice. Uh, but once that happens, within a few minutes, those printers would then be added to my device. That's all there is to the Manager app.